Spider-Man games have been hit or miss since what is widely regarded as the best entry in the series, Spider-Man 2, which was 15 years ago. Two console generations later, Insomniac Games, best known for the Ratchet and Clank series, took on the challenge of creating a Spider-Man game that fans have been waiting for. Hello, New York! <laughs> New suit, same old me. Hi there, and welcome to Platinum Journey, where I document the highs and lows of getting a platinum trophy in some brilliant games. Today's game, Spider-Man, is one I have never played before. So I'm going to this completely blind. Let's get cracking. 50 trophies in total until the Platinum. 38 bronze, 10 silver, and two gold. Nine of the bronze trophies are earned for completing the main story, and the rest are various miscellaneous trophies like fighting crime, doing side missions, photographing landmarks, all the sort of stuff you'd expect in a Spider-Man game. The silver trophies are for beating challenges, collecting all backpacks, tracking down black cat, clearing out enemy bases and camps, and purchasing all suits. The two gold trophies are for unlocking every skill and 100% completing all of the districts in Manhattan. Each district has backpacks, side missions, landmarks, enemy bases, challenges, and random crimes. In order to get a platinum, I'm going to have to clean up this city. The plan of action is to complete the main story. Don't buy upgrades or suits. This is important because they cost tokens earned by completing challenges and missions. More tokens rewarded for a better time or results. I can get a decent but not perfect rating in all of them. Save, upgrade gadgets, reload, buy suits. Otherwise, I would have to get a perfect rating in just about every challenge. That would be a nightmare. Just like in school, I'm a chronic underachiever. Finally, I'll do every district side missions and find collectibles. Hey, my first camera. I got this at a yard sale. I still use this film. I don't foresee this being a difficult platinum, but an enjoyable one with a fine game. So grab yourself a drink, sit back, relax, and join me on my platinum journey for Spider-Man. Coming through. Looking good, Spidey. Okay, I am really excited about this. I'm normally averse to open world games, but Spider-Man is different. Spider-Man's mode traversal is unique. He doesn't drive a car. He doesn't ride a horse and he doesn't run. He swings from building to building and it's always set in New York, which is fantastic. Whoa, throw you right into it, don't they? This, this feels good. This, this, this feels good. It, they know it's the most important thing to get right in the game and it's what everyone who plays the game wants to do more than anything is web swing and they give you what a one minute introductory cutscene and then swing away perfect get to the bloody point mind if it was a little bit faster though hey, that might be an upgrade later on it is indeed an upgrade later on from gaining levels. Playing as Spider-Man, I did Spider-Man things, apprehended criminals, dodged attacks, performed acrobatic moves, swung from building to building, fought powerful criminals, all in an attempt to make New York City a safer place. Something strange is preventing me from being the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Something I haven't had trouble with in a couple of console generations. What the fuck's going on with the camera? What the fuck? What the fuck was that? Oh, well, this is unplayable. In I go. Oh, for fuck's sake. 
if I turn off the controller. be some sort of lock. Can't see. <sighs> I've never had this happen with the, with the game. Let's just quit. Turn off. Close application. Obvious troubleshooting steps. One, which I tried was to quit my save and then go back into it. Two, turn off the controller, turn it back on. Three, is go out of the game and go back in. Four will be turning off the PS4. And five will be deleting the game and reinstalling it. Currently on step, you know, option three. If, if that doesn't work, I don't know. Game's just broken. Continue. Come on, fingers crossed. We're trying. <laughs> Okay, all good. We're back. Whew. Okay, crisis averted. It would have been a long and almost unplayable game wrestling with a broken camera. No, 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 no. Oh, fucking hell, I've never had a, a modern game where I've had issues with the camera. Hopefully this is the end of technical issues. Take him down, now. With pleasure. Let's go see the Kingpin. I'm not delving into details about the story. This is still a recent game and I don't want to spoil anything. Also, I'll be trying to get the vast majority of trophies afterwards in free roam. As for my thoughts on the story... I liked it. Uh, initially it was... <sighs> I didn't care for the main villain, but once again into his backstory then okay I get it. And of course, Dr. Octavius' story was fantastic. We all know where it's going to end, but how you get there is, they did it, they handled it very well in this game. Like gameplay wise, the web swinging, spot on. Uh, the non-Spider-Man sections, I didn't care for initially. I just wanted to be Spider-Man, but as the game went on, those change-ups and playing as MJ for a bit, it does help keep it kind of fresh when you go back to being Spider-Man or even when you roam around as Peter Parker. That was kind of nice. And I did like, you know, Peter's life is a tragedy. He's getting evicted from his apartment. His relationship with MJ is fragmented, but they're still there. And um, speaking of which, the relationship was handled perfectly. Uh, it's always been the linchpin of the series. Well, that and then his relationship with Aunt May. And both of those were handled very well. Uh, the character of Peter Parker portrayed in this was spot on. Really excited to see a sequel. It has just hit me how much there is to do. Oh boy. All this stuff on the left, collecting backpacks, side missions, research stations, crimes, and that's just one district. There are eight more. More, 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 more. Wow. All I can do is take it one district at a time, one challenge at a time, one sable outpost at a time, one random crime at a time, one backpack at a time, one black cat hidden object at a time, one picture at a time, eventually, after a good few hours. Hallelujah. The final district. <laughs> a long time coming. Okay. Oh, there's black cat. Meow. Oh, man. That's the gallery where they keep the Jade Tiger. That's worth a cool million. Okay, let's see what Black Cat is up to. Found her hideout. Gotta get there before she leaves town. I always enjoy the kind of flirtatious relationship between Black Cat and Peter Parker. Well, is it with Black Cat and Peter Parker? It's more like Black Cat and Spider-Man. Spider, you raced here to redeem me, didn't you? You're adorable. And cute, too. Which is why I made you something more... Flattering. If you've got it, flaunt it. Whoa! This couldn't all have just been a game. 
Could it? Pretty slick. Is that it though? I thought I would like meet Black Cat, not just get a suit. I thought there'd be more to it. Just checking the trophies. Track down Black Cat. Okay, yeah, that was it. Oh, what a letdown. <laughs> thought at least we'd get a cutscene. Maybe we're saving that for the sequel. Damn. <laughs> Fuck, <laughs> that's, an, that's an intimidating suit though, isn't it? I have a Fantastic Four suit? Ah, here. <laughs> Bombastic Bagman, sure. That's the trophy for wearing five suits. <laughs> These suits are fantastic. Look at this feckin' Egypt. Good stuff. And that's the trophy for clearing out all the bases of the Kingpin. I think um, for the remainder of the game, I want to go back to the original. Finish the game as I started. 97%. Completion. Getting close. See, all the side missions and stuff, all the side missions, even the backpacks and the research stations and the Taskmaster challenges, they're all fine. Doing them as uh, extra free roam stuff, perfect. It's those random crimes that take a while to pop up. They become tedious. Like, why you got 20 of them per district? I don't know. Uh, 10 to 15 would be enough, but... Eh, that's what they decided to go with. All the backpacks, done. Act like you're negotiating. Stall them. I'll take away their bargaining chips. The final random crime. Looking forward to this. It's not even Black Friday. Ever hear a knocking? All that will be left after this random crime will be to buy upgrades and suits, as well as doing something sentimental. Here is something important. So, I have to make a manual save. Throughout the game we're given tokens. Tokens for beating bases, tokens for dealing with crime. And there's two trophies related to spending those trophies. One, for upgrades and crafting with your gadgets. And the second is for suits. Now I've got enough tokens for either or, not for both. To get both, I'd have to go back through all those Taskmaster challenges and drone challenges and bomb challenges and get the gold rating. Well, instead, what you can do is make a manual save and then go into gadgets. I have to craft 15 upgrades, yeah. Boom, that's 15 upgrades. I'm itching out to do a new game plus <laughs> and actually use upgraded gadgets. And now I have to quit. There's the manual save. Yeah, all the gadgets are done. And now we go into suits and we got to buy all the suits. This is cool. I'm really excited to do new game plus using all these different suits and then upgrading the gadgets. That's a very cool one, I like that. Oh, 93%. 93%. So I'm missing something. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Are there suits I'm missing? Hmm, let's just try quitting and go back in. It's a bit worrying. Alright, let's do this again. Okay, we'll try it from the bottom first. I don't think this is gonna work. What the fuck? How the fuck am I missing base tokens now? 
What is going on? I'm missing tokens for bases? Now I'm at 80% instead of 96. I'm so confused. What is going on? So to clarify, I'm missing six base tokens. When I went from top to bottom, one suit required two tokens and one required four. So I was at 93% completion. When I went from bottom to top, six suits required a base token each, so I was at 80%. Now I'm at 96% as one suit requires six tokens. You can understand why I was confused. I'm right here at the end. I'm right at the end. Something isn't working. After all that grinding with the random crimes, I'm still not done. I'm gonna have to do three bases. All right. Batter enemies and clear out the base. Check. Two tokens from doing the bonus objectives. Do it again. For another two base tokens. Except... I didn't get anything for the retry. <sighs> it's a pain in my fucking hole. Yep. I can't redo the base and continuously get more tokens. I need to find a different base. Two base tokens. Two down, one to go. Got Big Willie's guys and his weapons all wrapped up like Christmas morning. Well, you've got a red suit, so you're close enough to Santa Claus for me. Thanks. Oh, wait a second. Why is it still saying two out of six? When the finish line is near, it is easy to have on blinders and not read the small text. The tokens are for bonus objectives only. Air launch him. Let's see if I got tokens for that. There we go. Now I get it. The bonus objectives give you additional base tokens. I didn't know that. Throw 10 objects and 3 stealth takedowns. Bingo. Now clear out the rest of them. Done. Now to get the final suit. There we go. <laughs> oh my god. There is one final thing to do. Now you know what? We came this far with the... With this one, we're going to stick it out till the end. This is... this is a sombre moment. Hey Uncle Ben. Miss you. Doing my best to make you proud. Infamous quote, with great power comes great responsibility. When I saw the trophy list, I was like, this is going to be the one that finishes it. Nice, peaceful, respectful end to the game. Okay, this has been mostly enjoyable, yeah. Uh, even all the running around, doing the sort of collectible stuff. Because the mode of traversal is different than any other game. You're web swinging, you're acrobatic, it's so much different. I didn't mind the waiting around for the random missions, eh, but other than that, fantastic game, highly recommend it. I'm doing New Game Plus, I've got, look at all these suits, and I am going to upgrade my gadgets. I've been using base level gadgets the whole game, so all these new suits, upgrading gadgets, I'm gonna up the difficulty as well, and that's where, that's where I'm gonna be spending my time. Thanks very much for joining me. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this and until next time, take care.